So back in the day, I used to be a... A total ass, yes. I've always known about anime and manga, but I used to never think too much about it. However, when I was in elementary, there was this one kid who always whined and cried and complained about everything. I hated this kid so much that everything he did instantly pissed me off. And it just so happens that one of the things he did was read manga. All right, listen. My second favorite thing in the entire world is a story, specifically a good one. Always has been, always will be. So I remember thinking that if this kid likes whatever it is he's reading, it must be trash. I don't like to hate things. I like to enjoy things. I never got the phrase, the thing you love to hate. One thing I do hate is wasting my time. My point in saying this is that whenever I see something I feel like might be even a second of a waste of my time, I just avoid it altogether. So for quite a bit, I thought anime and manga were for, well, losers, basically. And I wouldn't dare waste my precious time reading or watching some mediocre stories. Fast forward a couple years, I was attending my sixth different school at the time. And because of the type of school it was, I was pretty much fed up with everything. After being a massive dick to everybody, I finally calmed down to just being in a constant state of silent, bitter white rage. Now, the word I would use to describe the kids at the school would be sheltered. All of them were pretty much, yeah, I hated this place so much. I honestly felt like I was in hell. Absolute nightmare. However, one good thing did come out of it. I met this girl in my class who I thought was a little weird at first, but ended up being incredibly nice. One day during some free time, I noticed that she was reading a manga. I was so bored that even though in my mind I knew that she was reading trash, I decided to ask her, what was she reading? She explained to me that it was a story about these alien frogs who live with these kids and want to take over the planet. She was reading Sergeant Frog. I was like, all right, that's cool. She asked me if I wanted to read it. I said, sure. So after years of not reading a manga, I finally read one. And it wasn't that bad. I thought it was stupid and funny and pretty entertaining. About a month later, I saw her with a new book and I asked her what it was about. She said it was about a guy who got into a bus crash and got his face completely charred and that the doctor who was looking after him while he was in a coma was also a plastic surgeon and fixed his face, but the dude didn't have any ID, but the doctor found a photo of a girl in his wallet and thought this must be how he looks like and made his face look like hers. What? That one was called Pretty Face. She let me borrow it. I read it. And I freaking loved it. It had everything. Comedy, romance, some action. But there was also just something about it that made me really like it. After that, I was hooked. I needed to find more stories like this. Went to the library, found one, I loved it. Went online, read some, I loved them. Went to the library again, got stacks of them, read them all, I loved them. It became my new drug. I needed them. Soon after, I started watching anime. Also, this all happened before it was cool to read manga and watch anime. Just wanted to let you know that. I became the very person I myself used to look down on. But I didn't give a crap. There was only one time that I came close to throwing hands with someone because they thought it would be funny to grab my library borrowed Naruto Volume 43 without asking me first. But overall, I didn't get too much mess for it. I mentioned that I started watching anime soon after, and the first series I watched completely was Sergeant Frog, because I read the manga. Then I started to watch all the series I read some of the mangas for, and even some I never heard of. But I made one huge mistake. I read the first couple of volumes of Naruto, and then I found out about the anime. I watched it from the beginning, and I remember it being the same as the manga. So I thought I might as well continue the story through the anime, since it's the same anyway. I watched all of part one and a good bit of Shippuden, but then by that time I got bored and felt like reading the manga again. But I decided to skip ahead to part two instead of starting over. I forgot what volume it was, but I remember thinking, oh, it's about to be the part I thought was whack from the anime with that dumbass kid and that crystal chick. Nope. I kept reading and reading and I remember being so confused because I couldn't find the part with the kid and the girl. 
I looked it up and it turned out that that part wasn't even in the manga. And that's how I found out about fillers. I then found out that all the parts I didn't like from the anime were fillers. I have never again felt the same level of betrayal as I felt when I found out that not all animes really follow their mangas, especially the ones that I liked. Then I found out that some animes would straight up abandon their source material altogether. That really annoyed me. And that's when I started to see anime as somewhat inferior to mangas. The final thing that did it was 100% my fault. So I made the mistake of assuming that just because they decided to make a season or two of a manga didn't mean they were going to make the entire series an anime, like Kenichi. Now the show only covers up to chapter 143 of the manga. When I found out that the manga was even a thing, there were already 300 plus chapters out for it. So not only did the series continue, there were over two seasons worth of story I didn't even know existed. It was from that point on, due to my own ignorance. I saw anime as being inferior to manga. But which is better, really? Anime or manga? If you've ignored everything I've said until now, I think about it like this. If there wasn't already a manga for it, the anime wouldn't exist. However, if it wasn't for the anime or even a rumor about a series getting an anime, I wouldn't have learned about some mangas or some light novels. All right, little side thing. Like I said earlier, I'm a story guy, so I have no problem reading books. But wasting my time reading a manga I'll not like is way different than wasting my time reading a book I'll not like. So due to that fact, the importance of that specific anime that's adapted from a light novel is higher. It's so important that I don't really even care when they make a manga adaptation of it. Now, the only other thing I can think of that anime has over manga, besides the animation, yes, is the music. Literally half of my entire music library consists of music used in anime. And for me, that is a big plus. But other than that, in my personal opinion, I believe that manga is better than anime. However, I want to make it very clear that I know that some people will watch an anime then read the manga just to get ahead in the story and then act all smug toward the people who just want to watch and enjoy the anime. I don't agree with that. If you'd prefer to follow a story through the anime, I think that's cool. If you only found out about a series through an anime and then decided to read the manga, I think that's cool too. The last thing I want to say is thank you. Thank you to all the authors who wrote these stories. Thank you to all the translators who translated so I could be able to read these stories. And finally, I want to thank my classmate from way back then who really introduced me to these stories. And to sprinkle a little more cheese on top, the most important thing I learned from this experience was that a good story can come from anywhere. These stories really did add something for me. But don't even get me started on subs versus dubs.